All right, so this is my new YouTube channel here. I'm going to put the link here. It's right there. Let's see. YouTube. You know, people have been complaining about YouTube and their policies and different things like that. Different changes. Running ads uh, on your channel even though you're not monetized. And making it more, more difficult and putting hurdles. So, even though this is not really my professional job or what have you, I decide what I'm going to do. I'm going to split my channel off with stuff like traveling and stuff like that that I do. With the bulk of my videos and just put that in, in one channel. And other things because I like to like... Uh, I uh, guess editorialize, comment in articles, and I think YouTube has a way in trying to silence people. If you look at their community guidelines, there are a lot of stuff in there that uh, when they first started, it used to remind you when America was a, a free country, <laughs> land of the free, home of the brave. Well. Now they got so much stuff in there, stuff warning you about if this is for, for kids. Uh, there's a couple, a black and Asian couple. Uh, they used to have a channel called Blasian. I think she changed it to Lily Petals. I don't know why. I like the Blasian thing. But anyway. Um, at one time... You couldn't comment on her channel because YouTube had taken that privilege away. And how are you going to really communicate with people if you have people watching your videos and so forth? They want to leave a comment. And be that's because she had two daughters and y young daughters and people who were making comments or what have you. It's like, you know, YouTube attract perverts. So instead of like dealing with them or setting up a system to catch those people, they just blanketed and everybody was knocked out. So you couldn't even make comments. So that's the whole, whole idea. So with me, they say, well, you know, I have like different videos here that um, like, like I'll do a lot of news stories from time to time. Some, especially politics too. Cause like last year, the height of the presidential election anybody who knows me knows that I can't stand Donald Trump you know I mean it's like <laughs> I'm living in a an alternate universe when I see people who are so pro Trump I saw a guy uh, on TV a black guy uh, being questioned by the FBI this was yesterday and like he's crying and he's saying oh I don't know why I taste this officer you know uh, he was just doing his job, and um, yeah, he was just doing his job, and he's saying, but when your president calls, you know, calls you to duty, you have no choice. So he's blaming, he's blaming um, Trump. Trump called him to duty. Well, he wasn't in the United States Army, <laughs> you know, so it's, he's talking about commander-in-chief or what have you, you know. You know. He may be com commander in chief listed in, in, in the Constitution, but that's the title he gets as a civilian overseeing uh, the military. But he's not my commander in chief. I'm not in the United States Armed Forces. Yeah. So it's beyond me why people get themselves involved in such stuff. And I understand that some people are on here to make money. And you know, this TA Claire of topics, so like, uh, they would just like concentrate if they travel, or maybe they have a, like a, a girlfriend with a nice body, they just show her body, show her rare butt, stuff like that. And uh, YouTube has no problem with that, you know, YouTube has no problem whatsoever. You can show a girl in a bikini. Or with big breasts or what have you, and that's fine with them, you know, because it makes money for them. Remember, they take like forty-five percent of the earnings that they get from the ad, the AdSense. 
you get 55%. And even if you're not monetized, they run ads. They, they, they came up with this sometime last year, about a year ago. And I was, I was reading uh, some comments below a video where some people are really angry. You know, they're like, wow, you know, I'm doing all this work. One guy even said, uh, I don't know, maybe it was a, at the height of the pandemic that he has no job and this is what he's relying on to feed his family and he's not doing as well and YouTube is run, YouTube running ads and he's not getting anything out of it you know well I don't really I don't really have that issue but I think for the long run I think for the long run as I as I get older and one day I don't work or what have you if I have a channel that um, it's monetized and brings in a little bit of money, even if it's a hundred dollars <laughs> in a month, that can make the difference, right? Eating uh, maybe a proper meal. So you know that's for the future. But for now, I'm not like those people who, um, you know, have to feed their family and they have seven seven in the family. I think the guy said, the man, and uh, he needs to, you know, support them. And he's depending on YouTube. Well, mm -mm. I don't know. I don't want to start a conversation with him and ask him, well, where did you go to school? Oh, <laughs> you know, what did you do? Why are you relying on YouTube? YouTube came out in, um, I think, 2005. Yeah. Yeah. That's like 14, 14 years ago. It's not that old. And, uh,. I used to be making videos like when I did my tour in, in, in Western Europe, 1991. There was no YouTube, you know. But YouTube, uh, <coughs> YouTube has a lot of constraints and there's competition out there. People decide, uh, you know, they had enough of it. YouTube makes a lot of money and so forth. And, um, so there are a lot of there are a lot of angry people. Of course, it's popular. You can look at videos. You don't have to pay. Some of the sites you have to pay. You know. So. So this is what I'm going to do, and I, I call this channel here on the road, because that's where I make a lot of my stuff. I like to go out there, especially uh, walking sometimes. Here, where I live in, in New York. Yeah, a lot of places you don't usually see, you know. Most people that see Manhattan, like uh, Manhattan is like the, 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 the center of the universe or something. I remember growing up, I would speak to people on the Citizens Band Radio, and some of them lived in Manhattan, and they were, they were like so out of touch, you know. You told them, yeah, I'm down here by the Brooklyn Bridge. That's where I am, and they would say, "Oh, are you near? Are you near Coney Island?" And if anybody looks at a map of Brooklyn, they would see like Coney Island is way down. So I always find that people who live in Manhattan are like really, like kind of out of touch with reality. They have no sense of what's what. You know, it's like the elephant and the blind man. <laughs> they uh, don't seem to connect with each other. They're not cognizant. Uh, what's going on? Because if you live in Manhattan, especially like you get to the Midtown area, it's like wow, everything is so simple. The streets are so simple. You know, you have the avenues and the streets, and uh, it's like designed for for a moron. It's like wow, you know. And then you have Fifth Avenue cuts down and divides divides the West Side from the East Side, so. If you jump from the west side over to the east, now you you're in the east. So and that's where Fifth Avenue splits it up. And so, so the only part of Manhattan really, like if you go to the village, Greenwich Village, that becomes a little more difficult. Then you have streets like Christopher Street and so forth, uh, Green Street. You no. Know, that's a little more a little more difficult down there, but once you get up to the midtown area, forget it. It's easy street, and you don't really have to think much. 
So I'm kind of biased because here I am in Brooklyn and we have lots of different streets. We have avenues and so forth. And if you get out to Queens, Queens is more complex because Queens, you can have a street with a number, like maybe 6 year street and maybe 6 year drive, maybe 6 year avenue, 6 year lane, 6 year court, you know, so if you ever go out there, you have to be very, very careful if you're looking for something. But the good thing about Queens is that um, it, they go by the intersection, so that means if it's like near 6 year street, if a building is near 6 year street, then the building number will be like 60 dash zero four or something so you know 60 would be where the intersection is so if it's 60 dash 04 let's say Queens Boulevard something like that so you know um, you have to get to 60th Street for your address and then the building number is 04 so it looks difficult but it's not it's much easier than in like in Brooklyn, for example. I run into people who like um let's see. People delivering food and they don't know where the hell they're going. <laughs> and they stop me and they ask me and what have you and I have them call the person up. You know, and I said, Listen, if you want your food Tell the, the tell the people at the restaurant to put a cross street, okay? Because when you have a cross street, that's the easiest way to find anything, you know. But if you just give somebody like uh, one guy was going to the the projects over there by Fort by Fort Green, the ones um right where Navy Street comes right down by Ashland over there, the Ingersoll Houses, and if you've ever been in the compound in Ingersoll Houses, it's not that easy. There are like a bunch of different names in there, streets and so forth, different numbers. It's very, very confusing. So it's, it's not the kind of place you want to have a delivery guy come to, to tell him, yeah, come here, you know. And then he gets there, everything is called confused. The guy was going in a completely different direction. And I told a man who ordered the food, I said, listen, if you really want your food, give them the address, give a cross street, you know. You put Muddle Avenue, like Muddle and what, for example, you know, Prince Street, something like that. Muddle and Prince, because Prince Street comes up, but you just have like Muddle Avenue, Ingersoll Houses, and, and so forth. And when you get in there, they got like different, different names, streets or what have you inside on the compound. You have to be really from there to know it. You see? So I get into extraneous topics and uh, which I could dis discuss in my other channel with my name e Eponymous as I say Wayne Samuel and here in this other one on the road I can just have people look at videos. So this is what you do. Sure. You want to contact me and this channel? Let's see. This thing here is a little bit dark. And I put the link below, right there. That's it, right there. I'll put that later. So, that, so that's it. You can uh, subscribe to this channel too. I'll still be putting videos on the, on the other one. But from now on, I have a whole bunch of videos from Queens, uh, from Brooklyn. I walked to um, what's that Brighton Beach yesterday. I went down by the, by the sea yesterday. It was a very nice day here in Brooklyn. We're not going to see another day like that soon. So... I'll be seeing you on the other side.